If you have around $700 to spend on a new gaming PC build, you can actually get a really good 1440p and 1080p performance as long as you don't bottleneck the system. So in this video, I'll show you the best $700 PC with no bottlenecks. I will also show you the SMD performance and I will explain everything in simple terms so even beginners to PCs can understand. Links to all of the components mentioned will be in the video description. That being said, let's start. With the CPU, we have the i3-12100F, which is a great budget 4-core processor CPU. It's not going to be the best CPU out there, but considering the budget we are working with, the i3-12100F is going to be excellent for 1080p and 1440p resolution. Then for the motherboard, we have the Astrock B660M Pro RS Micro ATX motherboard. This one is going for just $100 and it has all the features that we are going to need for gaming. Then for the memory kit, we have the Team Group T-Create Expert 32 gigs of RAM kit 2x16 of DDR4 memory. This is going to be amazing not only for gaming but also for productivity work, multitasking, video editing and content creation overall. Then for storage we have a 1TB Gen 4 SSD which is going to be really fast for gaming and honestly getting a Gen 3 drive or a Gen 4 one is not going to make a difference when it comes to your gaming performance. With the graphics card and the most important component when it comes to performance we have the RX 67 XT. This is a 12 gigs of V1 graphics card, which means that it's going to be really good for 1080p and also 1440p ultra settings. Since the latest AAA titles at 1440p on ultra are going to require more than 8 gigs of VRAM, which is what most of the GPUs at this price point come with. I think the 6700 XT is one of the best GPUs you can get on the market today, and on a 15 game average at 1080p on high to ultra settings, it was able to average 103 FPS, so you can expect a hungry plus FPS on average, high to ultra settings 1080p resolution. And then on that same test, on a 15 game average, but this time at 1440p resolution, it was able to average 74 FPS, which is a really decent number. So whether you want a 60 plus FPS on average experience at 1440p high to ultra settings or a 100 plus FPS on average at 1080p, this PC is going to be amazing for you. And if you play esports titles that are easy to run, such as Valorant, Fortnite or CSGO, you will be able to achieve a 144 plus FPS on average at 1440 and 200 plus FPS on average at 1080p. So if you want to buy a high refresh rate monitor, then feel free to go ahead and get one. I highly recommend you watching my video about the best monitors in 2023, where I go over the best monitor for every budget. So you have options for 1080p and 1440p there that are going to work amazing paired with this system. And for you to understand how good the RX 6700 XT, let's take a look at its competitor, the NVIDIA RTX 4060, that is going around the same price. The RTX 4060 is going to give you around 10% slower performance when it comes to gaming, and it has 8 gigs of VRAM, which is not going to be good for 1440p ultra settings. So the RX 6700 XT is the much better option here, and in my opinion, the best GPU you can buy for a budget of $700 on a PC build. Then for the case, we have the Bitfenix Nova Mesh Micro ATX Mini Tower case. This one is actually a really clean looking case with a front mesh panel, so the airflow here is going to be really good and it already comes with three pre-installed fans for the price of $60, which is actually one of the cheapest cases on the market and in my opinion, one of the best in terms of price and performance because you get excellent airflow, three pre-installed fans and a decent price. And last but not least, the power supply, I picked the MSI MAG A650BN. This is a 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. CT rated unit is going to be way more than enough for this build. And you can actually get away with 600 watts. So if you want to save some money, you can go ahead and downgrade the power supply, which I wouldn't recommend. But if you want to keep the price lower, you can do that. The total price for this system when I'm recording this video is $710. And maybe when you're watching this, it's a bit more expensive or a bit cheaper. If you want this PC to be under $700, dollars then you can downgrade the memory to 16 gigs of ram which is going to be enough for gaming but honestly i would recommend you buying this pc as it is at 710 dollars because you are going to be getting amazing performance if you have a bit of extra money i do recommend you getting the ryzen 5 5600 which is a six core processor and it's going to be better overall than the i3 12100f you are not going to have as much limitations as the four core processor however the i3 12100F is not going to bottleneck the 6700XT, but on more high CPU demanding titles, 
the 5600 is going to give you an advantage when it comes to gaming performance however if you play gpu demanding titles you're not going to notice a difference between the 5600 and the 1200 f but anyway it really comes down to your budget so in conclusion for the price of 700 dollars you are going to get an amazing system for both 1080p and 1440p resolution gaming and if you kept watching until the end comment down below i love gaming pcs so i know you're a real one and you watch the whole video and if you need personal pc guidance i can help you out personally that's going to be the top link in the description thank you guys for watching thank you for your support and i will see you on the next one